Hello, boys and girls, and I'm so glad to have you back here again today. I'm glad that you tuned in to listen about Jesus. So let's get started right away with our Bible verse, okay? And our Bible verse is 1 John 3, 16, and it says, This is how we know what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us. And that's what Easter is all about, and we started talking about that last week. And this we're going to talk about, why did Easter have to happen? Why was there a cross? And I have a book that's called that, Why Is There a Cross? So we're going to read a little part of that to start today. It says... You're wanting to know what the cross is about. It isn't so easy to figure out. Let's look through the Bible, for then we will see why the cross is important to you and to me. The crosses we see, both large and the small, remind us that Christ gave his life for us all. And we do see crosses all over, don't we? We see them maybe up on the wall. We have one up on the wall in here. We certainly see them at church. His death on the cross was a part of the plan that God had in mind when creation began. God knew the plan from the very beginning. Although we may struggle with all of our might, there's simply no way we will always do right. And last week we talked about sin, about how maybe we don't obey our mom and dad. You can see this little girl's cutting someone's hair that she shouldn't, and that is not a good thing to do. So we want to try not to sin. Jesus was willing to die for our sin. He gave up, gave up his life so that we can all win. Jesus is perfect, as good as can be. He went to the cross so that we could be free. Free from the power of sin and of death. Free to praise Jesus with every breath. So we are grateful that Jesus came and took our sin away on the cross. Let me show you in a different way so maybe we can understand that a little bit better. I have a picture of the world here, okay? This is, looks like our earth, right? And we live right about over in here somewhere, okay? And we are sinners, aren't we? So we're going to put a black mark there to mark our sin. You, know, you sin and I sin and everybody, but not just us, right? It's people all over the world that sin. So the world is dark with sin. There is sin all over the world and countries all over the world. That doesn't look very good, does it? If God looks down and sees that, that doesn't make him very happy. So let's see if we can get rid of that sin, should we? I'm gonna try to wipe it away myself. And I'm wiping and it's not coming. It's not coming off. We need help to get that sin away. And whose help do we need? We need Jesus' help, don't we? So I have some red water, and we're going to think of this as the blood of Jesus, okay? And I'm going to put my cloth in there. And then I'm going to take it and see if it will help. Let's look. What's happening to our sin? Our sin is going away, isn't it? So now God can look down, and he doesn't see our sin anymore. Jesus has covered our sin so that we can be close to God again. So we need to be so grateful to Jesus that he would do that for us, don't we? And we know that when we talk about Jesus, we talk about praising Jesus. So let's do a little song that we do sometimes. We'll just do a little bit of it, okay? But you can do it right at home with me, okay? Ready? So let's clap your hands, right? Clap your hands to praise Jesus. Clap your hands to praise Jesus. Clap your hands to praise Jesus. Praise him every day. Let's do one more. Let's wave our hands, okay? Wave your hands to praise Jesus. Wave your hands to praise Jesus. Wave your hands to praise Jesus. Praise him every day. Good job. All right. We're going to finish by reading the story of Easter from this uh, children's Bible, okay? And it actually starts by talking about Jesus being born as a baby, just like we talked about last week. It says, God born as a baby boy. This was the most important thing that had ever happened. Because Jesus is the most important part of God's plan for the world. Jesus had to come as a baby in order for us to have Easter. So this is Jesus now grown up as a man. And many people heard Jesus teach, but some of them didn't like Jesus. 
They didn't believe he was God's son. But we know from our Bible verse, right? Jesus is the son of God. When they got Jesus back to Jerusalem, they made fun of him and they hurt him. Then they took him out to a hill to die on a cross. We missed a page there. It's sad to think of God's son nailed to a cross, isn't it? There were people there that were sad. But Jesus was willing to die because he loved us. Jesus' friends put his body into a cave called a tomb. And then they covered the opening with a big rock, a very, very big stone that went in front of the tomb. Soldiers came to guard the tomb. They didn't want anyone to get into the tomb. On Sunday morning, so on Friday, was when he died. And I had Friday and Saturday and Sunday. On the third day, which was Sunday morning, some women came to the tomb and were they surprised? Do you know why they were surprised? I bet some of you do. The soldiers were gone and the rock was rolled to the side. The body of Jesus was not there. Right? The tomb did not have Jesus in it. But angels were there to tell the women the great news. And what was that great news? It's Jesus is alive. Can you say that with me? Jesus is alive. And he is alive today because he really is God's son. And that's the best miracle Ever. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you that you sent Jesus as a baby, that he grew up and became a man to teach us about you, and that he was willing to die on the cross to cover our sins, Lord God. Thank you for all the boys and girls here, Lord, and I ask that you would help them to learn to follow Jesus. And we pray this in his name. Amen.